Are you a content creator looking for effects to improve your videos in 2021? Welcome to Production Crate. Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. On top of that, these assets are compatible with your editing software. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. Make it awesome. What is going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 90 tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to install external plugins into Vegas Pro 19 because nine out of 10, if you want to have a external plugin that doesn't come with Vegas Pro, you actually have to install Vegas first and then you have to download it and install it. It doesn't come like automatically if you get Vegas Pro 19 that you will just open up your project, for example, right here. And then you can just go to the video effects tab and all the custom transitions are in there for you already. You have to do a couple things externally as well yourself to go ahead and install these. So of course, there is an exception if you buy Vegas Pro 19, for example, on the website using this discount code and you have, for example, the Sapphire plugin included if you want to save, you know, a certain percentage or the Boris Continuum Effects plugin technically comes with Vegas Pro 19, but nine out of 10, if you're gonna buy this software, just a regular, fresh, new installment, a new subscription, a new license, that's basically where you have to go ahead and install a few things externally such as like transitions, you know, overlays, color grading packs and all that. So let's go ahead and get started installing these external plugins in Vegas Pro 19 right after the intro. Alright guys, so right here we are in Vegas Pro 19. So as you notice right here, we have like, you know, S underscore. And that's basically because it's from the Sapphire plugin and that doesn't come standard with Vegas Pro. So of course, it is pretty, pretty straightforward. If you want to go and use your external plugins, what you basically do is you just go to the website of the developer of that plugin. Let's say it's Sapphire or Continuum. And then you just buy your license. You will get the download link into your, you know, email box with the activation key. You install that and you're pretty much good to go. So the other thing is basically very very simple so let's say that you have this you know text overlay pack or color grading pack i actually am going to use the preset pack that i have for my channel that you can also get in the link down in the description or you can click through the video at the end of this tutorial where you can guys can watch that video in a whole so right now what we're going to do first of all is i'm going to go to the download link in the description of the preset manager and then we're going to head it off from there all right guys so once you went to the download link in the description you will see this welcome to the preset manager 2.0k software installation wizard so i'm going to click on next and i'm going to just agree with the license and i'm going to hit next and then we're going to just install our preset manager it goes very very quick so right now we're going to go click on finish and now that we've done that we're going to actually open it up as well all right guys so this is the preset manager nine out of ten you guys will be familiar with it but of course people tuning in into vegas pro and they got vegas 19 as their first software their first introduction and they want to get these plugins and i don't know how how to handle this it's very simple so right here we have the preset manager so the only thing we need to do is drag in our preset that we just downloaded or a plugin rather so let's go to a desktop and let's see what kind of file that we need to drag in all right so now that we are on my desktop right here we have this icon free ultra transition pack 2021 and then it says dot sf preset so that is basically the format that you want to use for your you know like transition packs or your text effect packs but of course like the external plugins so such as the Sapphire plugin. It doesn't work this way. You just have to go to the website, like I mentioned, buy it, install it, activate it, and you're good to go. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag in this file into the preset manager. So now we're ready to go. I'm gonna just drag it right here in this window. And then it says free ultra transitions pack. We're gonna click on there. And then we're gonna click on this icon that says copy to system. Then we're gonna hit that one. And then right here, if you double click on effects chains, you can basically see what is contained in this pack. So once you have clicked on copy to system once, that's everything you are ready to go so now we can go ahead and close this out now of course in the background i have vegas Pro 19 open but let's just go ahead and restart it just in case it wouldn't pop up and then i'm going to show you exactly how it works all right guys so now that vegas Pro 19 is booting up it's going to be pretty pretty simple how we're going to use this one so now that we have installed everything and got it into our system this is basically how it's going to work so right here depending on what you have installed if it's a preset pack you're going to go of course to the video effects tab and then you would actually see it for example 
default right here. But if you don't see it, we're going to go to the media generators tab. I'm going to just drag in a blank text file and how you then apply what you have installed. You just click on this icon, which is the event effects. Okay, so once we've done that, we're going to go to filter packages and then we're going to see all our transitions that we installed. As you can see, we have the, you know, the scroll down A, scroll down B, we have scroll up A. This is basically how to do it. If you're going to click on here, you want to click on add, click on OK. As you notice right here, you can animate your effect right here in this timeline. All right, guys. So once if I play it back. Oh. All right, guys, so if I play it back, this is what it looks like. It looks really, really cool. You can even make it a lot slower by just dragging this keyframe a little bit more to the right. And this is what it looks like, as you can see. Very, very nice. This is how you ex install external plugins into Vegas Pro 19 and also how to use them. It is actually just two parts. The one that doesn't work this way in the preset manager, just go to the website, like I mentioned, externally buy it and do all of that. And then if you have like a filter package download, this is how you get to it as well. So that is how to install external plugins that don't come with Vegas Pro 19 standardly when you buy it. It is that simple. All right, guys. So that's it for this video. This is how you install external plugins into Vegas Pro 19. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button down below, guys. Also subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of these videos about all kinds of topics, how to improve your Vegas Pro experience, how to install certain things, how to speed up things, everything like that. And also, of course, how to create really, really cool effects. So that's it, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video.